Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome to a very special Ark Survival Vol video. In a moment, I'm going to show you something exclusively leaked about Ark Survival Evolved. It's going to be a brand new map or new DLC. It might be a mod, I am not too sure, but what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. Even if it turns out to be just a mod, I think it's fantastic. It looks absolutely amazing, but this has been uploaded to the main YouTube channel. If you take a look at the screenshot I'm showing you right now, big shout out to Sinister Missy, one of my most loyal and lovely rat bags. Obviously got me on lock with that notification squad has obviously got the notifications from Art Survival Vol trailer, uh, the channel, and they uploaded a video and quickly took it down. That video disappeared, you can't no longer see that video. But I done some digging around. I'm in over 70 discords and at least 20 of them are around Ark Survival Evolved. I managed to get into one where a lot of developers are actually in. It's mostly centered around PVP. And one of the guys in there, big shout out to Default, he posted a link to that trailer. So get ready for a world exclusive scoop on a brand new DLC map something coming to Ark Survival Evolved probably going to be revealed later on it's probably to do with China Con which is an event being held in China at the moment or China Joy that celebrates lots of Asian gaming and in that Asian gaming event they're going to be showing off Ark Park, Pixar and of course Ark Survival Evolved and this I reckon is part of the promo for it so we don't know what it's going to be but let's take a look So what the hell is that? It doesn't even have Ark on it. It's just called Atlas. Is it a mod? Is it going to be a brand new piece of DLC? Is it going to be free DLC? We just don't know. But it is being uploaded to the main Ark channel, which makes it a bit odd. Now, they have uploaded sponsored mods beforehand, trailers for sponsored mods. But normally, we know all about them sponsored mods beforehand. We get told we know they're already alive and they normally get chosen. So I don't think it's a sponsored mod. I really can't understand why. 
So the name of this DLC or this mod is called Atlas and as you can tell there's so much going on in this trailer. We've got rowboats, we've got actual big massive ships that you can craft and build. You've got cannons on it, it seems to have all the elements of Ark but I'm not 100% sure it's even an Ark game. I mean maybe it is just a sponsored mod, maybe it's just a brand new one but it does seem really weird that they're not announced anything about this in any of their updates recently. Normally the sponsored mods get reputation by the people playing it and then the ARC creators, the ARC development team, take a look at what's the most popular mods, who's getting really a lot of work done and they'll choose them to go in the program. So I don't know if this is just a mod, it could be free DLC, imagine if this was coming out right now, imagine if this was going to be available for Xbox, PS4 and PC, I would fall back in love with ARC again because I ain't going to lie, they really pissed me off with their extinction delay, it really really upset me that we weren't going to get a chance to finish off the final DLC sooner, but look it's got all the mechanics that you come to expect from some of the extinction events lately, the Ark Archaeological Chronicles. The only thing that I've got against it is this trailer. Normally the trailers are made by a guy called Chris who does all the web design, he hosts all the forums, he's a big integral part of Ark. He does all the trailers and it's it's got some marks that make me feel like he's worked on it but it still feels just not as polished as normal, not as polished as the normal trailers he works on. So maybe this is just a modded trailer they've worked on but I don't know. He has been saying he's busy. I checked out the live stream the other day for Ark Survival Evolved, they were touring some other uh, modded map taking a look at a role play community and in the chat he spoke to me and said that he's working on something else and I know he's in China Joy which I spoke about earlier which is an event in Asia and they're just basically promoting everything to do with snail games. Snail games of course own Ark Survival Vault, they own all the IP uh, for Pixar and so it's not out the realms of possibility. Maybe they've asked Wildcard to make this mod, maybe it's a brand new game. It's a bit, I can't imagine it's a brand new game, it'd be a really dodgy situation if they're making a new game instead of DLC and it just borrows so massively from Ark. But imagine if it is, it's like Sea of Thieves literally, you know, but in an Ark Survival Evolved world. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. You saw the skeleton men, you saw the big skeleton sort of ghostly boat as well. There's all sorts of craziness in this and it's obviously got the creatures of Ark. So it must be a mod, it's got to be a mod. I can't wait to get more information about this. I'm sure they'll end up releasing it later on today after the leak has happened, which I'm proud to present to you today. The Ark Survival Evolved link looking at Atlas, which is by looks of it some crazy, I think a crazy mod. I think it's a crazy addition. Hopefully it's going to be valuable for everyone. We're going to go over it a little bit more now and I'm going to stop and start and just discuss stuff. It does seem to be a brand new map. Obviously that map is nothing like I've ever seen in any of the other games and the water seems to be even more choppier which makes me really think it could be something brand new. The fact the water is actually stormy water and it goes up and down and it's got real life to it. Look at that. That looks like Sea of Thieves style water which of course uses the same engine. I didn't realise this but Sea of Thieves uses the Unreal Engine and that's why the water looks so good. So maybe if I can do this and look at them storms. That is crazy. What are the storms about? Looks like we've got some sort of rendition of a grappling hook there you see people boarding the boats now combat looks a bit slow a little bit methodical look at that landscape and items there what is that but clearly there's going to be some really cool features to go explore there's treasure maps where you're going to be able to dig up actual treasure and you're fighting skeleton men maybe a bit too much of a rip off of sea of thieves or just all pirate tales in general but it is just a bit bonkers if this is a mod they must have been working on this secretly for ages and if it's an Ark Survival Evolve sponsored mod I can't believe they've kept it this quiet. We knew Ragnarok was being in development, we were a bit surprised it was coming to console when it launched to be fair. I didn't really think that was one of the biggest or bestest places, you know, maps that would go forward but people really enjoyed it and they just surprised it and said yep it's coming to Xbox and PS4 as an official mod and that was absolutely amazing but this is another level. A brand new map, you've got brand new enemies, you've got brand new modes of transport, you've got brand new mechanics where you have to build a ship up gradually, look at the way you have to build it up, you're not just going to simply put a raft down in the water, it's going to be this thing where you have to build it up gradually. Reminds me a little bit of Survival Plus where you have to build up the houses, in that game mode, in that mod, you build up prefabs which you can do and you just put the supplies in and over time it builds it up. But you've got all this stuff, now this is probably all being built, set built, you know, this isn't just a port in town. But look at the islands, look at the way they are, they just really feels that piratey Caribbean vibe running around and you can sink ships as well and they properly sink. It's just a bit too much just for a mod, I mean if this is a mod, they have done some outstanding work and if it's Ark that have done this, 
Ben, fair play. If this is coming out to all systems, oh my gosh, I would be I would be super happy. It'd be amazing to go and get some fresh new content for you guys. Because Ark has just got boring and stale for me. It really has. I really want Extinction to come out to see what's going on. You can see all these Armadas and stuff going on here. Um, you've got different colours and uh, schemes on the, the sails. So again, it's that like customization option. I just find it really hard, uh, hard, interesting that there's no Ark logo. There's nothing that says it's actually Ark Survival Evolved on that logo. And it's a planet Earth as well. It's not just shown an Ark. This does remind me of the good old days. Do you know I actually broke Scorched Earth coming to console before most people even heard about it. There was a couple of reports and a couple of people had got wind of the fact they were adding a desert environment to Ark, but no one knew it was DLC. But I had done the video before DLC came out, at least a week or two, telling you guys there was coming out and it was gonna be some sort of DLC. And absolutely blew my mind when Scorched Earth came out. This is similarly getting me excited. It still just doesn't have the full polish of what I come to expect from an arc trailer like official arc trailer but if it's a fan made trailer like a game or mods made by the modern community hats off to them because it does still look amazing but it's just not 100% there like some of their other stuff but it's got some epic music on it for sure and it's got some really cool environments really cool new features I am super excited for this if you can't tell so remember where you heard it here first J plays games like I said make sure you've got notifications turned on come and join my discord I broke this to my guys in discord first if you want to hear all the latest and best information about ARK make sure you join there and I'll see you ratbags for another video about Atlas very soon